I'm asked a lot why I'd want to open a zero waste store. It's a lot of work. Why do I want to do it? Well, it started about a year ago. We would spend a lot of time at the beach and every time we went, we found lots of trash. If we'd go to little islands, we'd find bags and bags and bags of trash because nobody's out there to pick it up. And so it got to the point where the kids had to wear shoes every time we went to the beach because it was we were worried they were going to step in something that would really hurt them. And it dawned on us, we have to do more than just pick up trash. There has to be a better solution to this. So I started Embrace Less Waste and we started selling unpackaged products, all made in America, mostly by moms like me that wanted to make the world better. And we sold these products online and at pop-ups. That worked well, but we did not feel that we had a good enough impact a lot of people were asking for stores that they could come in so they could refill their bottles and buy, have more variety. So then the idea of a zero waste store came, a brick and mortar. And I just want to put into perspective how big our trash problem is here in the States. I have the stats here, so I'm going to be looking over there. So 294 million tons of trash are collected in the United States every year. Now, being in tons, it sounds a lot less. So we want to calculate that now to pounds. So it's 2,000 pounds or in a ton. So that equals, okay, get this, 584 billion, 800 million. That's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, how many pounds? Think about it. 584 billion pounds of trash. And less than a quarter of that was recycled. So how much is that really? I mean, who can actually fathom how much trash that is? An adult male elephant on average weighs 15,000 pounds. So imagine seeing 38 billion elephants. Hmm, I can't picture that either. That's a lot of elephants, but it's just astronomic how much trash there is. So how would a zero waste store help with that? Well, we would sell Unpackaged products, and that's important because if it's unpackaged, there is no trash. So let's say you are using Tide detergent and you run out, so you can come in and you can refill it, and that bottle never ends up in the landfill. You can come in and refill your shampoo bottles, you can fill up your olive oil, you can buy flour, you bring in your own jar and you weigh out the flour you need. You never have to throw a container away. You're taking that out of the trash stream. And that's huge. If every one of us just reduced their trash a little bit, it would make a tremendous difference. That's one reason. Also, if you go to the grocery store and you need to buy a five pound bag of flour, you may not need a five pound bag. You want some rice, you don't need a giant bag. There's a lot of people that don't need the quantities that are available in the grocery store. And you buy it and then you end up throwing it away because it's just too much. You didn't need it, it expired, and it ends up in the garbage. Doesn't it make more sense to be able to take your recipes for the week or however you shop, come in and weigh out exactly what you need. It doesn't take up storage space in your house because you used it this week. It's out of the recipe. You used it in your recipe. It's gone. It doesn't need to be stored anymore either. So your food is always fresh. You get exactly what you need. You save money doing so. And for some people, they only have a small budget. They can't go and buy a giant quantity of something because it's not in their budget. So this would also give the opportunity to people who are struggling with finances and they need an alternative. And that's really important. And we don't give that enough thought, but there is a need for you to only buy what you need for that week. And I want to have that readily available for people that need us a little bit of assistance. And yeah, I think a zero waste store can help many people in many ways. Um, we also want to provide recipes so for people that are eating plant-based that we can supply recipes for an entire week for on a budget. And there are meal plans that are less than $20 a week eating healthy plant-based food. And that is if you only buy the quantity you need, which makes a huge difference. So we wanna help people and there's many ways we can. We wanna offer education so we can teach you about living a more sustainable life. We wanna have special guests come in that can talk about the benefits of eating plant-based and other small changes you can make in your home to be more energy efficient. All together, we just want to see a positive change for the planet. And that is, that's how we started. So I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thanks for listening.